Obviously the main question with inset stoves is how do I get any heat with it all sort of closed in like this? Please like and subscribe. You to be happy. Obviously we insulated it. If you saw my installation video of this, you'll see that I filled the fireplace with insulation. So that's to stop heat from just going up the chimney or in part. But they are actually stoves within stoves. They've got this sort of outer box and this little gap in between that's all open and uh, this isn't powered but the idea is that you get a natural convection current of cold air coming in and hot air being sort of uh, convected round so the idea is that actually they give off a lot of heat and in some ways they're more effective than freestanding stoves in certain cases particularly where they're sort of slung back into an opening but let's see if it works I've not tested this before, so um, this could just be embarrassing, but I'm gonna light a smoke pellet, probably just fill my house with smoke, but I'm hoping that we'll see the smoke going in lower down and coming out to show, I mean, certainly I'm getting loads of heat off it, so it's doing something. You're lighting it outside of the stove? Yeah. Look at that. It's getting drawn in. It's all getting sucked in underneath and then it's feeding out the top. So cool air goes in at the bottom and then comes out the top. That's amazing. Look at the way that that's, can you get in close to see that sort of sucking in? Look at the way it's been pulled in. Look at that. And then it comes out the top, all heated up. That went a lot better than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> but it proves the concept. That'd be. Stay smoking. Uh, say that again. <laughs>